of Thinking Spring this morning. Emily Dean is live in the town of Holland. Hi, Em. Rachel and Pete, good morning to you. Hi, everybody. We have some cute little chicks with us this morning. They're under the heat lamp. We're out here at the Walski Hobby Farm in the town of Holland, and they are just adorable. But these little chicks, some of them are going to get all big and ready for the Brown County Fair. <laughs> We're with some 4-H club members, too. Griffin and Maddie are here with me this morning, and their dad's here with me, too. So let's talk about what type of breeds that you got, because these were actually sent over to you from Iowa from a hatcher, and they're about two weeks old. So what kind do you have? Um, one of them is a standard size or normal size chicken. The other ones are bantams. They'll stay smaller. Um, they're just a smaller breed. How many of them do you think will go um, to the Brown County Fair? We'll probably take, I'm thinking, at least eight of them. Um, possibly 10 to 12. So let's talk about the chicken that Griffin is holding. Uh, what kind of breed that is? She is a crossbred um, egg layer. She is primarily for laying eggs, um, or you can use them for meat, but it's just not quite as big as a broiler chicken would be. And here is a mini version, right? The yep. baby chick yep. of That's what it will be. The small version of the crossbred which he's holding, Sally. Oh, they are just adorable. And right now, um, they're really young so you're using this heat lamp because they need warmth right yep yep they typically got to be a little under 100 degrees like we said earlier um, and they will have that until they get full feathers so you have some eggs in your hands kind of explain this to me on what you wanted to show us um, when the chickens start laying at a certain point a couple months uh, four or five months old depending on the breed um, usually you'll get one or two of these small ones to start with and then after that they'll get to the normal size egg um, you don't usually find these because they usually get lost in the sawdust or whatever, but that's usually how they start out. That's really cool. And now these um, little chicks won't need to get any vaccinations or anything until they're a year old, right? Yep. Um, typically, if you get them, most of your um, hatcheries, they have them pre-vaccinated for, I believe it's polarium disease. Um, so they're good up to a year, and then after that, you have to get them tested. And so, Griffin, right now with Sally, your chicken, what are you doing to get her ready for the fair? Because you're bringing her back this year, right? Yeah. Um, first of all, I tamed her so like I can just walk right up to her and she'll come right to me. And then before the fair, like a day, we have to give her a bath so there's no ticks or anything under her arms or anything. And then pretty much just keep her feathers still on. Don't let any of the other chickens beat her up and everything. Yeah. Well, she's really pretty, and I know these little chicks are going to grow up to look really pretty, too. So thank you, everyone, for being with us. Say bye. Whenever I put the microphone on, they don't talk anymore, Rachel and Pete. We'll send it back. Oh, there oh, they oh. go. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, there you go. Perfect. Thanks, Sam.